All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at the difference between return and print in functions. So let's get right to it. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to create a function using the define keyword, and we're going to call this one print result. It's going to take an A and B. And what it's going to do, it's going to print A plus B. Okay, nice and easy. And I'm going to create another function called return result. Okay, it's going to take an A and B as well. And what it's going to do, it's going to return A plus B. Okay, perfect. So let's start it off with our print result. Let's see what we got here. So if I were to say, okay, I am going to reassign it, I'm, or I'm going to assign my print result, whatever that outcome is, to a variable. Let's see what happens here. So I go result, and I'm going to say it's going to be print, my print my result, and it's going to take in 10, and it's going to take in 30. I run it and I see I get 40. So I'm printing out 10 plus 40, perfect. Now, if I run result, there's nothing there. So why is this? Well, first let's see what type it is. None type. So what is going on here? So essentially the biggest difference between return and print is that return allows you to assign the output to a variable, whereas print does not. So let me show you what I mean by this. So as we saw result, turned into nothing, it's a none type, okay? Let's clear this out. And let's now do the exact same thing, but with our return result. So I'll result, and I will call return result. I'll take in 10 and 20 again. And you don't see any sort of output pop up there, which is fine. However, when I call result, I now actually see the output of it. And if I were to check the type of result, I see I get an integer. So I'm actually getting a value there that I can then utilize. Make sense? And let me do this, run this one more time. And I'll go type result just to show you. Again, type result. Oh, did I do that right? Print result, run that. Oh, sorry, got to run that one more time. Run this again. And we have, what? Print result, result equals return. Oh, result equals print result. Right, and I run it again and I get my none type, okay? Makes sense? So result allows you to actually assign the output from your function to a variable, whereas print does not. And one of the cool things you can do is if you do wanna get the best of both worlds, you can do something like this. So let's go to find, we'll call it both worlds. It's gonna take an A, it's gonna take an B. Okay, it's gonna print A plus B. It's also gonna return A plus B, okay? So I'm going to call it results, it's going to equal both worlds, and it's going to take in 10 and 50. Let's say I run it, I get my output that we saw before with the print, so I get my 60. But also, if I run my results, I still get my 60 because I am getting my return value from it. 